by my dad. But he's the first one to break every single last law. But then he don't get punished for it because he wrote it. But you you lose your job, you lose everything. You can lose your life. They'll lock you up for fraud. Alright? You see the you see the corruption, you see the theme of this thing? You know? They never actually uh slack you. <laughs> I'm gonna read this again, man. <laughs> Let this fucking marinate, man. Between 2010 and 2014, Czech employees claimed at least 19,162 hours they never actually worked. The inspectors found one employee charged the government $85,000 in wages for 890 hours never worked. Never worked. Mm. All that money. But somebody that never worked. Jay can't even get a fucking job. And, he, out and here. niggas can't even get a simple, a, a little dumbass job. When you get a dumbass job, they rob your ass. Now here's another thing. Just walking down here, what is this? Seventh Ave. You just walk down Seventh Ave. You see so many homeless people. They're just laying there. Now this is supposed to be a god fearing country. The Pope is making a visit. You think they'll try to clean up the streets or make sure these homeless people they have a place to live? They don't do that because they don't give a fuck about it. All right? The corruption of so-called white man is beyond comprehension, That's right. man. How much can I even bring up all the, the wickedness that he really does, man? Right. We could point out everything that he did in slavery and everything else. But every other thing that you see right in front of your face is just rubbed up all over your face, man. To see a homeless person or a homeless vet after this country is supposed to have take care of everybody, they're supposed to be their beacon of light, is a joke, all right? The corruption of this place is disgusting, man. Yeah, go ahead. Right this is Sirach, chapter 25, verse 15. It says, there is no head above the head of a serpent, <laughs> and there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. And that's what the so-called white man is. He's the goddamn enemy, man. Only the enemy would do certain things the way he does, man. He would lock up a homeless person for being on the streets. But if they go to a shelter, they're gonna get killed or raped or robbed. Nobody's watching over them. At one breath, one token, he can say he take care of everybody. At the other sense, he doesn't give a fuck about nobody. That's how much wicked this so-called white man is, man. He's the, the, the definition of the devil. What is that you people don't understand, man? If there was, if there was a man on earth that put, that to make the, put the picture as a devil, it has to be the so-called white man, man. James chapter two verse thirteen. For he shall have judgment without mercy. Um, Proverbs chapter um, sixteen and four. The Lord made all things for himself, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. Even the wicked. So the Lord created everything, man. Everything that you see, everything that you curse out, you get mad at, the Most High did that. Through his son. The Lord gave his son the blueprint to do everything. All right? So he created the so-called white man for this one sole purpose. It's to cause havoc on earth. To show no mercy on a people that show no mercy, man. All right. But the one I want is in two seconds. I'll bring this to James. James chapter. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Um, uh, uh, Me, what you got? Yeah. Enough, enough, enough. What you got? I'm looking. Okay. I'm looking. okay. Good, go to you now, rich man. Weep and howl. What? When he's talking about the rich man, he's not talking about your, your Bill Gates, your Donald Trumps. He's talking about the super elite. You get the elite, sir? He's talking about these men. These are the ones that dictate the whole world what to do. These are the kings of the earth. They say the power seat. All right? They're the ones that's really the hedge of everything. Everything that you see that's going wrong on the earth, these are the, they're the, they're the reason they're responsible for it. 
Because a poor person, despite how poor they are, they don't make no laws. A poor person doesn't create havoc like that. If a poor person robbed, it's still because they poor. They hungry. So they're not the ones. Blacks and Latinos are not the ones that's crazy and all the havoc on the earth. But yet the way blacks and Latinos depicted, like the animals, well, right now they acting like animals. But they acting like they don't. They don't. The reason for death and evil on the earth. They don't have the power to do that. All right? This is uh, the miseries that shall come upon you. The riches that corrupt, corrupted, and the garments of money. Yeah, because everything that you got, you stole it. Everything, everything that so far white man has in his power has been stolen goods. Yeah. He didn't earn it. He didn't work hard for it. He didn't go to high school. He didn't go to college for it. He got a master's degree in wickedness. He, he's the one that created the wickedness. All right? He's a massive disaster. Then he tells people, you gotta go to college. You gotta have a, a degree to get a good job. So now when they go to college, spend four or five years in college, and now they nothing but in debt. Now they owe for the rest of their life. And then they can't get a good job because what? The economy's, the economy's crashed. They need, they can't, don't have no skills in working because they went straight to college. Or they went to the military. And then when you go to the military, if you go to go to the um, the regular enlisted people, there's no difference between being treated out here than treated in there. You can lose your job. Once you lose your job, you get a dishonorable discharge. But the ones that went to college, the officers, they could lose their job and get another job. So is that right? Is there any balance in that? No. All right? So the so-called white man, he is corrupt. Everything that he got is corrupt. You know? Your gold oh, and your silver is cankered. Your gold and silver is cankered, is corrupt. Is is um worm is is moth eating. Says and the rust and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. And it's a witness against them because what? Everything they got was stolen. So when everything is stolen goods, it don't, it's not back to its original where they came from. Where all the money went in Fort Knox? Is it still there? No, it's not. But where did they get the, all that money from? They got it from, started from the Native Americans. Because this land had, they had actual gold. They had silver. They had precious stones. They had precious everything. They stole everything. The so-called white man is nothing but the, the devil himself, man. So everything is, is coming back. Hey, like Malcolm X said, the, the roosters, the chickens coming back to the head. All his wickedness is coming back to him. All right? Yeah, it's like, the, I don't know why I said rooster, but the chickens coming back to roost, which is a, which is a rooster. <laughs> Says all that. You got one, chick? This is James chapter 2, that's verse 6. It says, but ye have despised the poor. Ye that despise the poor. Who despise the poor? The so-called white man does. You, you uppity up Negroes do. They despise their own poor. Jay, you got niggas like Jay Z. You got niggas like Rihanna. No, hold that, keep that up. I'm just talking about. You don't have to bring those cocksuckers up. But you got all these people that despise the poor. They don't give a fuck about the poor. All right. John don't give a damn about the poor. When people was murdering each other left and right for his sneakers, he didn't care about them. Did he go? To, did he get in a news conference like, yo? Look, I just made this, you know, I'm just trying to make money. He could have done that. He's out trying to make money. They don't have to kill each other. No, the nigga just stepped back. He didn't say shit. All right? But they all despise the poor because they sucking the life out of the poor. You know? James 2 and 6. But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you? Do not a rich men oppress you? So amongst our people, which are the biggest Uncle Tom's, they oppress, they are, they allowed so-called white men to oppress us, all right? But we all got the same common enemy. These are the guys that are oppressing us. These are the guys that are responsible for our being oppressed right now. 
they're, they're the ones, the rich of this world, man. They're the ones that got the unfold, the unlaws where you can't keep a family. Well, basically, you gotta live a single life the rest of your life. Because either your child's gonna be born in this corrupted world and turn out like a, like the seed of this world, or you're gonna lose your child from either violence or the woman that they got the power, she's gonna corrupt that child. So either or, you're screwed. Either or, you're fucked. So it's better off not to be emotionally attached to this goddamn world, man. Because once you're emotionally attached to this world, you're gonna fall with it. The Lord has given us the, the blueprint, the signs, to show you, like, look, this is a sinking ship. Get the, we gotta get the hell out of here. Your mindset gotta be, get the fuck out of it. We gotta be on the, that mindset, man. Anything can happen. All right, you gotta live the life on edge. Cause anything, any moment, something bad could happen. Then what you gonna do then? If your family members get dropped or dropping dead by the dozens, because they at least finally give the, the go ahead, what you gonna do? You gonna be emotionally fucked up because of that? Or you gonna keep it keep it moving? That's how yo, that's how you gotta be. But you know. What's your James chapter 2 verse 6. But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seat. And not do not the so-called white men love putting Negroes and Latinos in the judgment seat? That's right. And throw away the book on them like it's nothing? Now they're telling us soon every man gonna have to take a chip. <laughs> Is that that in a judgment seat? Do not those so-called white men want to take everything that we got, including our soul? That's right. And he's shown it evidence by evidence every single day. So, who is the enemy that we're supposed to be hating right now? Ain't that the so-called white man, those that go by his laws? I saw this on the news, man. By, by next November, man, if you're going to fly to another state, yeah. you're going to need a, a passport, man. It's called a real ID, man. So if brothers want to come to New York from to California, man, they gotta get. I need want to fly, man. They gotta get a passport, man. You in, you in the boundaries of America? You don't need a passport to go to another fucking state, man. That's one step closer to the chip. And, it, and here's another thing. In the ancient world, did they have a passport to go to another country? No. You could do it as you you fucking feel like it. But only here in America, the oppressor, the so-called white man, the devil that he is, will find a way to oppress the shit out of somebody. So now you can't go sick the state. Yeah, yeah. Now you stuck where you at. Isn't that in Ecclesiasticus? Yeah, and I can't wait till the Lord gets back here so you fucking, you Edomite, you so-called Edomite Christians have a rude awakening. Yeah. You get the real image of the Lord, man. Yeah, because there's a lot of you so-called Edomite Christians over there in the Bible Belt in the Midwest and the Southern states, you really thinking that the Heavenly Father is with you, man. But when Yahweh Shai comes back, and you see this, matter of fact, your wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1, you're gonna, it's going to mess your head up, man. That's going to be beautiful, man. Because you're thinking the Lord is with you, crackers, but the Lord don't like you fucking crackers, man. Hey, every time I watch one of them forensic files, it's always one of you crackers getting your loved ones killed or, 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 or taken from. So, I mean, yeah, it happens to Jake. But guess what? That's the punishment of the Heavenly Father. For you other nations, when it happened to you, cry me a fucking river. A word, your daughter got killed. She was raped and then killed. Cry me a fucking river. You know what I'm saying, Mr. White Man? Cry me a fucking river. Your father got shot in the head by some gangbanging niggas. Cry me a fucking river. Your daughter got raped. Cry me a fucking river. Go ahead. Wisdom of Solomon 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Now who is the righteous man that the scripture is talking about? It's talking about us, man. Because we're the only ones that come out here boldly in front of everybody, no matter what nations they are, and tell them that they're the devil to their face, that they are going to slavery. All right? Why? Because the Lord put the spirit on us to do that. You think any average nigga could come out here and do this week in, week out? The winter? When it's blistering cold, when it's summer hot, you got fake ass Israelites that can't do this shit. Balu, all right? They can't do what we doing. Because why? The Lord put the spirit on us. It's not us, it's the Lord that did that. We don't? Uh, so this is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. 
They shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face.